All right, shooting fans, we're back to talk about golf balls as a way to stop AR-15 rounds. You recall last week's show, the rounds first went through 12 gauge steel. That's a tenth of an inch of steel. And uh, many of you were wondering what uh, it looked like when it hit the balls. You can see uh, some interesting little uh, chunks here. Nice little holes in them. I like this one a lot. It actually caught the round. Isn't that something? Actually captured it. Well, these balls are pretty tough. They, uh, they really stood up to the attacks. I wouldn't hesitate to leave them in the, in the line of fire to take some more rounds. Here are what uh, I found in the bottom of some of the boxes. Kind of rounded some things out, strung some things up. So, the question then is, if you send it through 12 gauge steel, the balls don't seem to have any trouble stopping it with about four inches of golf balls. What if you don't have the steel and you just send it through a little wood and a little uh, plasterboard? So, I spun those boxes that I had put this way, I spun them on their ends, and I shot the ends. Now we're looking at uh, more than eight, ounce, eight inches of, of balls. Little bit of a ball kind of tore the thing, but I had cardboard here and really nothing came out. It wasn't easy on the box, but uh, I put uh, a couple rounds in the end and Eight inches of balls didn't have any trouble stopping. I tried six and a half inches of balls and a couple inches of foam. Thought I'd help the box stand up. Still kind of chewed up the box, but uh, really nothing out the end, just a little bit of ball. If you'd been standing behind those, you'd have been okay. Tried just five and a half inches of balls, inch and a half of foam. You can see the front here, put uh, three nice shots in it did pretty well. Chunks of ball kind of tore this up, but uh, nothing too bad came out the backside. Tried a little bit fewer balls, just five inches, and uh, threw four rounds at the front of it. And here you'll see, again, the balls kind of start to disintegrate and little bits of them come out the back. But based on the cardboard I had behind it, uh, you'd have You'd have survived uh, that. You'd have had little dings from golf balls, basically. Now, making it a little tougher on the rounds, put the boxes the long way, threw four more shots at it. What did I have here? I had uh, 25 balls, inch and a half of foam. 25 balls, inch and a half of foam. And uh, really nothing comes through. Uh, Shots went low and uh, kind of tore up this a little, but um, there wasn't really anything below it when I was done. That's basically ball at that point. Here, I went with a full eight inches, two inches of foam. Shot a nice cluster of uh, four shots here and nothing. Really kind of clean. Uh, little bits out the bottom. Nothing that wouldn't have been caught if it had been stacked on a, a number of boxes. Remember, I'm shooting a, uh, a full metal jacket 223 round out of my AR-15. I'm only about 25 yards away. I use this little contraption to hold the boxes and the, uh, the boards in front of it. So, pretty clear that eight, ounce, eight inches of golf balls with a couple inches of foam to give them some extra give doesn't really have any trouble at all stopping an AR-15 round. Uh, no steel to help it out to begin with, just balls. This little combination did pretty well too, but uh, I think this is more reliable. The thin way, kind of hard on the boxes. And uh, you'd have survived this. I think if, if you had, say, half-inch plywood behind this, that would catch any kind of fragments, maybe even quarter-inch, and I could try that. So that's my testing. You may recall last episode, I took my uh, FN57 
and shot some rounds just at the steel and it made some crazy divots but obviously not close to getting through. So I thought I'd try my Keltec, got out my PMR30, again shot through some wood, got through some particle board, shot a piece of steel on two inches of foam, and again some indentations but uh, not, not quite as aggressive as you'd assume. The FN57 did have more oomph. Neither one was going to get through the steel. This, uh, I like this Caltech because of the 30 round magazine, but that, uh, that 22 mag is, is not much of a round. That's, that's obviously what I was shooting. And, uh, you know, hey, if it does that to 10 gauge steel, you know it's going to rip right through you. So, don't get shot by one, but uh, not much of a round. So there you have it. Golf balls do a pretty good job. There's another one that caught a bullet. Isn't that something? You hit that thing square and uh, all the other bullets compact and it just catches it. I think that's pretty cool. But to make sure you're really catching a number of bullets, a number of balls, uh, you want to have more than four or five inches worth, I think. Uh, if you've got steel first, we know four inches will stop it. If you don't have steel, I'd feel best uh, maybe, maybe with five inches. But uh, we know that eight just laughs at it. The eight just laughed at the, at the AR-15. So, there you have it. Any questions, anything else you think I should have checked, you, uh, you drop me a note. Thanks, bye-bye.